it's kind of like some of you cannot read your partner we are chained up in a situation that is not positive it has to hand guys tower the shadows are described by the moon and the devil guys details details what can make the difference get more information be assertive cleaning house it seems on point meaning that you can truly decide to pursue something different and uh, you can go away basically hi guys welcome to the channel quick general love reading for my friends libra sun moon rising and venus whenever you watch this take what resonates and leave what doesn't if you resonate let us know like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for the support so guys let's find out together what's coming through for you libra sun moon rising and venus in the love arena let's see what we can get for you guys the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth changed mind coffin it can be a factor 100 percent endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition bottom of the deck stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack well this is quite a progression on an energy level we have also the golden mirror maybe something that was not how it seemed if we think about a connection that maybe was a little bit challenging or even something more than a little bit helpful people this can be an encouragement support mechanism get more information and be assertive lovely as an energy bottom of the deck let's see what the tarot has to say here we go patient shuffle so your energies four of cups ten of cups the Sun eight of ones your person's energies hierophant page of ones star major arcana and the moon meeting energies the devil two of ones four of pentacles ten of swords our coffin focus two of swords bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords anxiety monkey mind we cannot sleep even Well, guys, I am looking at the devil and at the moon because this combination, if you ask me, is a problem. There is also another contrast, which is the sun, because some of you may have to find clarity about the person that can be by your side the star that we see can be a desire a hope for this person to stay with you for some of you this is a marriage for others this person is willing to play the card of the marriage in order to keep you guys 
by their side. But what is the intention? The real motive, you know? The devil is a problem for that and the moon follows along because it is an energy about the unknown, something that is hidden, unclear, even questionable. And our focus is on the Two of Swords, a choice, yes, but a choice influenced by something that we do not properly understand and some of you have to turn on the light. The sun can also be the type of energy that some of you can embrace as soon as an ending is manifested because these Ten of Swords can be our coffin oracle card if we look at it from your perspective. Basically, you are not getting Ten of Cups energy, fulfillment of art and soul, and you can decide to end this connection, but the other side of the coin is that this person can feel stabbed in the back like the figure in the Ten of Swords because you are going away. Seven of Swords, another problem, guys, because there is something that is not uh, clear in this situation. Bottom of the Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, another Ten, it's a challenge. It's a source of struggles, this connection. So this is a reading for some of you that are still with a partner, but basically if, if a stranger stops you guys on the street and asks to you to define your connection in three words, for example, you can say struggles, problems, misunderstandings, and then again, disappointments, sadness, anxiety. You can choose words that can describe an unsatisfying situation, and this is a problem. That's why at some point, there is the desire to drop the ones, to let go of them. So guys, there can also be a meaningful factor about stubbornness because of the Four of Pentacles devil combination. The Hierophant can be even an old way of thinking. Maybe this person is built in a way that is not open, they are not open, because if we follow the Four of Cups, the Divine Offer can be your willingness to nurture the connection, but you are dealing with someone that is constantly out of reach, and this is a problem, they can be even a little bit superficial, page of wands, funny, flirtatious, all right, a spark of interest, a spark of passion, let's have fun together. The eight of wands can even follow along. But if we take away the passion factor, also because of the devil, what are we looking at? Can this connection stand the test of time, that's why we have to get more information, but maybe you already have the information that you need, because you know this person. There can be a question, where do you want to be? Do you see yourself still uh, by this person's side in I do not know, one year, three years, five years, ten years, you know, we are talking about the future. Let's see the Four of Cups for you. Seven of Cups. It can be an energy about confusion, indecision. It's kind of like some of you cannot read your partner. 
you cannot understand them basically but it is not your fault it is just that this person works in a way that um, cannot be understood easily the moon can be even about someone that can shift from the foggy energy of the moon to the transparency of the star then back to the foggy energy of the moon then again transparency foggy energy transparency you know it's like a moody person let's see the eight of wands because it can be a conversation more than a uh, cupid's arrows arrows of love type of energy the moon my goodness this is the problem and that's why some of you have to go within because if you do not understand this person for example the only thing that you can do instead is understand yourself kind of asking yourself some important questions because if you do not want to be with this person moving forward basically you already have your answer let's see the moon for them seven of pentacles waiting 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 this can even be a passive approach you know king of cups emotional maturity usually guys but what if this person is not able to express properly feelings and emotions because for me they are deep under the surface and so if that's the case you are not getting ten of cups energies because this person works in a different way eight of swords stuck stuck in their mind stuck in their ways um, unable to make adjustments and that's why some of you can struggle let's see the devil at this point it's a cycle we know that it's about excesses we have to break free otherwise we are chain it up in a situation that is not positive it has to hand guys tower crumbling down of a situation three of cups i know that it can be a third party scenario sometimes guys i am leaning towards the fact that this is like a realization that there are not uh, joyful times with this person anymore then if there was a betrayal involved let's consider it the tower can truly fall down and in this case no wish granted for this person 100 percent let's see the ten of swords our coffin stabbed in the back type of combination strength card powering through this energy is for you guys you have to trust your gut you have to go for your inner happiness if it is necessary to power through a major ending so be it you can be the phoenix this is also an energy about holding back maybe from the offer that this person can um, bring to your attention somehow some way it is also a matter of trust for me if there is no if there is no trust uh, there cannot be love as we usually share eight of cups on point leaving a situation behind there is the moon again again and the bottom of the smaller deck four of pentacles recurrent energy again stubbornness or the decision to protect our heart soulful decision for some of you guys it cannot be avoided let's ask for guidance considering these energies dragon's lair it resonates with the tower for me this card there is a dragon flying around maybe other dragons hidden in the shadows 
the shadows are described by the moon and the devil guys we have a big problem and some of you are called to see through it somehow some way it can be an uncomfortable situation this one and it's like the saying in order to get the gold we have to face the dragon some of you have to face the dragon metaphorically speaking but the dragon can be this person even one that can be super quiet and then all of a sudden they snap just like that and then they go quiet again like smaug in the hobbit you know details details what can make the difference get more information be assertive look at the finer lines you know and then you can get your clarity which is the word involved in the card and there is also a compass the decision to go away eight of cups leaving behind an unfulfilling situation in order to pursue new horizons new adventures that can bring satisfaction joy to our heart and our soul sad embrace it's on point it is it is bottom of the deck we have listening maybe this is a factor that is not working anymore in the connection we cannot understand each other but some of you will have to listen to the voice of your heart guys if you are experiencing nine of swords energies we have to make a change we cannot um, keep leaving a connection that may not be healthy cleaning house it seems on point meaning that you can truly decide to pursue something different and uh, you can go away basically this person to say that they don't see the final decision coming maybe it's an understatement you know they are going to be surprised because maybe they were thinking that you were like a possession you know you were theirs but it doesn't work in that way and the four of pentacles can follow along you know my precious like Gollum with the ring in the Lord of the Rings it doesn't work that's why some of you can truly go away but it is for the better Sun energy the Sun is rising up once everything has been said and done in a ten of swords situation new phase transformation growth because some of you may change your mind about the whole situation closing point despite the disappointment if you have trusted people around you you can rely on them because they can be a source of help and this is encouraging you know the light is going away even so guys I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.